Good morning, everyone. This is Dr. Faranda Williamson, the president and CEO of the Chicago Mass Choir. And I just want to welcome you to Gospel Awakening. This is Gospel Awakening, a viewer-supported television show filled with motivating inspiration. Now, enjoy the show.
Then you gotta build your hopes on things eternal. Mm -hmm. You better hold to God's unchanging hand. Now you 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 have to do all that. You see, she got to show all off and stuff. See, that's what I'm trying. <laughs> Hey, that's the song. Well, that was the right song to start out with. Good morning, everybody. They went old school on us, everybody. We're talking about the Chicago Mass Choir here on Gospel Awakening Television, telling everybody to hold to his hands. <laughs> Amen. What a perfect message. What a perfect message we need to hold on to God's unchanging hand. I tell you, that I think, Probably every church has sang that song. And sang that song. And some I look, ver I, look, some <laughs> version of it anyway. <laughs> and, look, and they wore it out this morning. <laughs> yeah. That is wonderful. So I certainly hope you are enjoying. I hope you have enjoyed thus far. I got you, Terrence. I got you. I got it's you. What we do. <laughs> <laughs> Come on and join us. Oh, go ahead and take a sip. Um, but listen, call your friend, tell them to get up. If they have not, we are on the air. We got a great show for you on this morning. Of course, all of our shows are great. I, I, all of them are good. Chicago Mass, you know, they go way back. And so, you know, it's always, I love Mass choirs. And so, hey, I know you're enjoying it. I mean, it's been a while since we've had like a choir on. It's so hard to find good choirs, you know? Yes, and, tell, and we'll be interviewing Dr. Williamson. Yes, Dr. Ferranda Williamson. She is the, she is the CEO of that choir. She is the head lady, I tell you. And they've had some experiences. They have traveled. She's going to share a lot with us on this morning. That choir has been around for years, and so they have they are they have a powerful message. They travel, but you're going to hear a lot of that when she comes on this morning. But. Their message is powerful and their music, whew. Crazy, it's wonderful. So we all, we gotta go to a commercial break. Thank you for watching Gospel Awakening while we're here with the Chicago Mass Choir. Everybody don't go nowhere, we'll be right back. Let's take one more drink. Now you can enjoy your coffee with Gospel Awakening with an original Gospel Awakening coffee cup. These souvenirs are autographed with the original signatures of the television hosts. Also, visit Gospel Awakenings online store and check out our other memorabilia to add to your Gospel Awakening collection. This is just another way you can help keep Gospel Television on the air for years to come. Thanks for your support. Gospel Awakening is on tour and you're invited. Our first stop is Wilson, North Carolina. Pastor Jasper Kent has opened his doors to sponsor this opportunity for all of us to meet all of you. We'll be featuring a red carpet moment, giving you the opportunity to interview with us and be on the show. So come on out Saturday, October the 15th at 5 p.m. Total Impact Outreach Ministries. Can't wait to see you there. New Hope Church of God in Christ invites you to connect with a ministry that's moving forward using our gifts and talents to impact the needs of our community. Pastor Kenneth and First Lady Jackie Hill are honored to serve you.
they're here, the representative of the choir that you've heard all these years. They have three audiences all over the world with their dynamic music ministry. The Chicago Mass Choir, you better put it together because we have Dr. Feronda Williamson in the house this morning. Good morning. Good morning, Deborah. How are you? <laughs> I am wonderful and excited. Not as excited as I am. <laughs> <laughs> Early in the morning. Yes, <laughs> ma'am. Tell us about the choir. I, I, a lot of people never know, you know, don't know maybe how you started or give well, give us a little bit. You know, people don't realize we've been uh, in existence for over 32 years. We were organized in 1988. We actually started out as a workshop choir. Our founder, the late James Chambers, went to the Gospel Music Workshop of America, came back and said, you know, we're the um, gospel capital of the world, not just the United States. So we need to be able to do something here. And he organized getting together different choirs, musicians, producers, singers, and we had a week-long workshop. And we did that a couple of years where we would climax with a musical at the end of the week where we would have classes throughout the week. And then at the end of the day, we would come together in the band room at one of the community colleges and learn different songs and just fellowship. And the second year, a producer was in attendance from Word Records. And he said, you know, you guys need to record. And that's how our first four projects uh, were actually recorded at the end of the workshop, which meant that we only had four days to learn all of that material. And wow. fast forward, we will be recording our 18th live project. So God has truly been merciful and gracious and shown favor to Chicago Mass Choir. That is awesome. So this is your latest project now that's going on here? Yes, that's our 17th that you're listening to now. Oh. But we're going to record a new project here in Chicago and a oh. live video. Woo woo! That's awesome. <laughs> yes, yes. Who writes most of the songs for the choir? Well, our main uh, writer is our producer, Percy Gray Jr., but we do have other songwriters, but he is our main writer and producer, like songs such as Holy Ghost Power. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Jesus promised um, he'll take care of me. Um, the list goes, I pray we all be ready. The, the list goes on and on. <laughs> and I, are you all already starting to travel back all over the country again? With that well, you know what? We're being cautious because of COVID and I need your prayers because we will be traveling to Louisville, Kentucky, and that's our first out of town um, engagement since COVID. Wow. Yeah. So keep us lifted in prayer. We're going forward by faith, but I'm requiring the choir to be vaccinated and then also to have a negative COVID test. And, you know, we're moving by faith and we will be wearing our mask on the bus. <laughs> there you go. That's awesome. You've been everywhere. You've been to Switzerland, Europe. Yes. I mean, Greece, um, Italy, Spain. You know, God has just been Croatia. God has been gracious, like for over 17 years. Now we are considered the international ambassadors to, smet, to spread the good news that Jesus saves. All right. Dr. Williams, is there anything else before we close this interview that you just definitely want to make sure that these viewers know before we close out? I just want to know that, uh, let the, the people know that we serve a God that's bigger than COVID. You know, we're all, you know, we're going to walk in faith and not in fear, but we're going to use wisdom and know that God is going to get us through this, but we got to hold on to our faith. And I hope where we were in March of 2020, that we're not the same as we move forward past this pandemic, greater faith, more time in our word, greater prayer life, and then just notice that each day is special 
and we should live each day like it's our last day. And what I mean by that, be, be kind to one another and show love to one another. And I just wanna thank you, Terrence, and also Deborah for supporting Chicago Mass Choir, because if yes. people don't hear the music, They'll never know, regardless to how good it is. And to your listening audience, we've got a great fan base in your area. And hopefully one day we'll be able to come there to minister live. But thank you for everyone in your area in North Carolina for supporting us. And please um, watch us on Facebook. We have mm -hmm. our website. We're on Instagram. We're on Twitter. Come on and follow Chicago Mass Choir. Couldn't have been said any better. We got to go to a commercial break, everybody. Dr. Williamson from the Chicago Mass Choir. Thank you so much for being with us, doctor. And everybody, thank you for watching Gospel Awakening. We'll be back after this commercial break. Thank you. God bless you. I am Ben Boris Peterkin of VB Peterkin Funeral Home. And caring for families is something we do. B.B. Peterkin Funeral Home. Families choose us because we take the time to get to know them and help decide the most appropriate arrangements for their loved ones. Your personal touch is what matters most, offering a wide range of services, from life insurance to affordable cremations. B.B. Peterkin Funeral Home will make sure your final moment is just how you want it to be. Having trouble caring for mom or dad? Home Loving Care is here to help. We provide in-home care assistance throughout the Triad area. Our experienced in-home aides and highly trained certified CNAs specialize in veteran care, Alzheimer's care, and around-the-clock companion care. We even provide short-term or long-term sitter companion care in assisted living facilities and hospitals. Home Loving Care, providing the care you need with the love you want. Call today for a free no-obligation assessment. Now you can enjoy your coffee with Gospel Awakening with an original Gospel Awakening coffee cup. These souvenirs are autographed with the original signatures of the television hosts. Also, visit Gospel Awakening's online store and check out our other memorabilia to add to your Gospel Awakening collection. This is just another way you can help keep Gospel Television on the air for years to come. Thanks for your support. Gospel Awakening is honored to recognize Bertina Marie King of Sanford, North Carolina for being part of our coffee time. Your continued contributions will help keep gospel entertainment on the air for years to come. Now, we would like to feature you. Just go to our website, purchase your coffee mug and any other products to show your support. When you receive your product, take a selfie, text, or email it to the information on the screen. Coffee Time with Gospel Awakening is what we wake up for. Gospel Awakening is on tour and you're invited. Our first stop is Wilson, North Carolina. Pastor Jasper Kitt has opened his doors to sponsor this opportunity for all of us to meet all of you. We'll be featuring a red carpet moment, giving you the opportunity to interview with us and be on the show. So come on out Saturday, October the 15th at 5 p.m. Total Impact Outreach Ministries. Can't wait to see you there. I know you're excited. Y'all sit down, sit down. I know you're at home standing up and clapping. I know. It's been great. <laughs> That's what I do sometimes at home, Terrence. You just got to get up. <laughs> hey, Chicago <laughs> Mass Choir will make you get up. In fact, up. You, don't, you don't have to sit down if you don't want to. Y'all stand on back up if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> we want to take the time to say thank you as we always do. We, we do not take uh, your gift, your love, your support for granted. We are so grateful here at Gospel Awakening that you take the time to watch our show, to give, um, and just be a part of this ministry. That's what we are. We are a ministry. And thank you for all of your gifts. Just want to give a few shout outs this morning, definitely to Dr. Sharon Jenkins of Swanee, Georgia. Thank you, Latricia Renee Kinsey of Greensboro. Um, Cecil and Cheryl Mott of New Jersey, Aziza Jenkins of Ohio, and Kathy Daniels of Selma. Thank y'all so very much. 
And it's because of you that we do what we do, everybody. You know, a lot of times you hear a lot of some of the same names being mentioned, and it's because we need to expand from those, I guess, with those who are actually contributing to the show. And so we are absolutely asking you to take this time now to contribute, to help that this show might be worldwide. And so here's how you can do it. All the information you need is right here, everybody. But listen to me. If nothing else, you can go to Facebook, YouTube, like us, subscribe, ring that bell, do whatever it takes. All of those numbers also help us to look good and promote the show as well. So we're looking for you to do that. And thank you in advance for all that you do. And remember, hold to his hand because God has an unchanging hand. <laughs> Amen. To God be the glory. Everybody, we're going to get out of here and see y'all next week. Thanks for watching Gospel Awakening as we have enjoyed the Chicago Mass Choir. Until next week, God bless you. Love you, Deborah. Thank you. I love you, Terrence. God bless you, and we love you. See y'all next week. supported by viewers like you. We hope you've enjoyed this program. Until next time, God bless you.